So, right here, of course, is furnace decommissioned, but this is where your thermostats will hook up to. If you get to where no blinking lights, so there's no diagnostic code, you give it a call for heat, nothing runs on the furnace, well, where's the problem on it? Okay, simple. Let's go over that. So, R right here, that R terminal. That sends power out to the thermostat. W right here, am I pointing at it? Nope, there's the W terminal. It receives 24 volts from the thermostat. So R right here is an output. Well, W right here is an input, okay? As long as those lights are on, you know the board from here has 24 volts from the transformer here and you know that you have the 120 volt power supply going through on there okay if you take your meter and you put a probe to R and a probe to C you should read your 24 27 volts if it's a more modern furnace now if you go R and W and get zero volts well there's no potential difference because remember this is going to be the same as this right here therefore it's going to give you a zero volt reading you in order to be more competent or get a more accurate reading however you want to call it you go from that W terminal right here take it down to C the 24 volt common terminal so if you go W to C, W to C, just like this, with a call for heat at the thermostat, you should have a 24 volt reading. If you have a zero volt reading, then you've got a problem at your control wires, being the thermostat wires, or you have a problem at the thermostat. If you've got 24 volts here, you know that the thermostat has sent power through you may be looking at a bad board but there are instances I've come across where I can go W to common get 24 volts and the furnace still doesn't run because somebody at some point crossed the thermostat wires and the W becomes the hot leg while the red wire became the kind of a common leg. So if you go W to C and you have 24 volts but the board's not throwing a diagnostic light or running, somebody's probably switched the polarity on the wires, therefore you're going to read it, but the thermostat still has no output. So remember, R is the output to the thermostat wherever it is in the house. W comes back as input. If you wanted to just test and see right quick, huh, I don't have any heat, no diagnostic code, you take a jumper wire, W to R, oh, it's coming alive. It's like it wants to work now. Congratulations, you have proved that the furnace board right there is okay you have a problem with your thermostat wire you can go up you can go here disconnect R and W tie it together go upstairs to the thermostat ohm it out if you get OL you've got a broken thermostat wire and have to new, pull new wires through if you have zero you have a problem at the thermostat that same R to W jumping I did here can be done at the thermostat so if you get call for heat, nothing happens, jump out R and W at the thermostat, furnace wants to run, you've pretty much isolated to a bad thermostat. Hopefully this video will help. Remember to share, like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff.